you should not believe in spirituality blindly or any religion blindly you know that you must believe in this god or that god or this messenger or that messenger you must experience yourself so like a scientist you must be dissecting things mercilessly nothing wrong with doubting and questioning the existence of god science and spirituality we need to bridge them we cannot isolate any of them for the sake of the other for example if you are leading your day to day life <clears throat> mundane life going to office going to work going to business whatever and say okay it's all about money 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 and all other worldly stuff a lot of pleasures a lot of comfort nothing wrong with all these things but unless and until we prepare our mind and go beyond the preparing or uh, preparation of the mind uh, into spirit world into emotional uh, well being how we can change our consciousness if you don't believe in spirit world it's all right too but do we all have a belief in consciousness and how we can change our consciousness and make it more and more refined now a person who is meditating and person who is not meditating you can see this differences in consciousness when they are hooked up on fmri machine and especially as you dive deeper and deeper into meditation and arrive at deep level of subconscious states you can see the shift in the F- fmri showing how the waves are also changing and uh, <clears throat> it's very easy experiment and anyone can go through this if they are really really interested in studying how consciousness shifts with each meditation and are you going to reach out to the same wave of higher consciousness not really because then you know i would like to say that if you are in a train and the the view outside your window is the same every day that means your train is not moving and same thing is with consciousness with each meditation if you continue to experience the same thing same level of consciousness that means you are stuck each meditation to should must take us to a different level of more and more refined state of consciousness and who can say that is after a certain level of consciousness no machine no fmri machine can also measure it so one has to actually feel it experience it in oneself and say oh i am experiencing this state of peace this state of uh, compassion in my heart this state of love in my heart the next day you will use the same words perhaps so peaceful so calm so kind all these things but the quality of that peace the poise that you experience will be different though it's you know you we describe it as love or kindness or compassion you feel but that also has a different level of spectrum i would say it's a, it belongs to a different spectrum different level of frequency and uh, that is what i like the world to know that you <clears throat> should not believe in spirituality blindly or any religion blindly you know that you must believe in this god or that god or this messenger or that messenger you must experience yourself so like a scientist you must be dissecting things mercilessly without any uh, you know giving in because of emotions or because of fear or because of temptation nothing wrong with doubting and questioning the existence of god one has to ask oneself a question what keeps me going ever since my birth i am thriving i am breathing i am running around i am able to see i am listening 
you know <clears throat> if you have witnessed a new delivery you know mother is delivering a child for the first time in this world uh, there is lot of pain and as soon as the baby arrives baby begins to cry and if the baby doesn't cry then the nurses and doctors they go you know there's a frantic emergency call and they all are on their toes trying to resuscitate so that the baby can cry baby can breathe it's the first time only that mother or perhaps the last time mother would smile when the baby is crying afterward each time baby cries mother also gets upset what should i do now but that first cry is a sign of some life that has come along and this life stays with us the force that gives us life it, it is with us till the last moment that life force is within myself it's not outside myself have you ever closed your eyes and said thank you to that life force be grateful to that entity and once we are grateful that the entity heartfully i think that is acknowledging the very fact that yes thank you people call this life force as divine presence or some people call it as godly presence or spark of god or some call it as soul in this call it as atman it really doesn't matter what you call it whether you believe in or you don't believe in it really doesn't matter it, it doesn't care it gives us life until a point it decides to quit because of whatever circumstances and that's when we with that last breath the life ends so we have to be really really grateful instead of running around outside searching for god or that life force look within